And now we will go through some functions of the transmitter. First you have your selector wheel and it rolls to make selections and then it also clicks to make selections. You have a clear and a back button. You have digital trim tabs, your power switch. You have a two position elevator and door rate switch, a two position aileron door rate switch, a two position rudder door rate switch, a two position mix and hold switch. You have a knob for auxiliary two channel. You have a three position switch for your flaps and gyros. You have a button for your trainer slash bind. You have a two position switch for gear and mix and for flight mode. And now I will go into the system setup menu and you do this by holding down the click wheel while powering on the transmitter. And as you can see this Spectrum logo illuminated and then went out and it went out to tell us that we are not transmitting. So first we will go to model select. I'll pick a new model. Do model 4. Model type I'll set out for a helicopter. And then model name I'll name it test. And then you can either go to back or you could just simply hit the back button. Swash type, you have your choice between one servo, two servos, 180, and three servos, 90, 120, 135, or 140 degrees. I'm going to set up for 120. And then you have your switch assignments. And so say if you want your gyro to be run on aux 2, you can do that by inhibiting aux2 and then going to gyro and changing it to aux2 and you could make the switches whatever you want. Your flight mode setup to go into flight mode you have flight mode and then if you want to go into hold you could change it to your hold switch on the back. But you can make it any switch that you want. Then you could copy or reset your model. Then you have warning so say if you have a high stick you're going to get a warning or if you're in hold or stump mode you're going to get a warning and I have my alarm set to tone or vibrate and you could change that to just tone or just vibrate and I'll show you what the alarm looks like so I'll power down I have high stick throttle hold and stump mode on and I'll try and power on and you can see we get beeps and a vibration so I'll lower the stick I'll take off throttle hold and I'll take off flight mode and it will power up. So back into system setup, after warnings we have telemetry, which I'm not going to use but it is an available feature. You can set your frame rate. If you're going to set it to 11, you're going to have to use digital servos. And then you can also change your mode between DSM-2 and DSM-X. And then trainer is if you're going to be using this for buddy boxing. System settings, this just, you could put in a username, you could change the contrast on the screen, change what mode, you could change the language. And then in this menu you could change if you're using a nickel metal high drive battery or a lipo battery. You have your serial number and then stick calibration and that's very easy to do. You just move the sticks to the full extent and the question marks will change to OK. And then once that is done you can hit save. And then transfer to SD card. You can either import models, import all models, export a model or export all models and you can also update your firmware. And now we will go into the main screen the Spectrum logo just illuminated, meaning we're transmitting now. And this is going to be your main screen. Click the wheel and you get into the function list. But another way to get to the screen is just to simply power on.